Caribbean Utilities Company is the vertically integrated electric utility for the island of Grand Cayman in the Caribbean. Our service territory is a large uh, financial and tourism based economy. There's a lot of demand for extremely reliable service from those sectors. That's been the focus of everything that we do here at CUC. CUC in, in 2015, they wanted to replace their, their failing controllers in their main GIS substation in the most economical sense possible. All of the island's generation and transmission goes through that substation. So if it goes down, the whole island goes down. The bay controllers that can send control signals to breakers, earth switches, that kind of thing, uh, the supplier deemed them obsolete and that they weren't willing to support them anymore. So uh, that left us in a vulnerable position. The systems were failing. The, the hardware, the power supplies were, were failing in them. And they're running out of spares because it's obsolete. They can't get new parts anymore. You, know, you couldn't really easily determine what everything was doing. So, yeah, so it's difficult to just pull out that controller and put another one in. It really was, you know, a critical time to actually look at what was on the market, see what we could replace this with. The options we were presented with were pretty much GIS hardware changes uh, to convert it to the latest type of switch gear. The uh, manufacturer indicated that they need to replace the drive modules that control the switches and that was a really large cost as well as the bay controller itself. And that, that was the only option really. Uh, the other manufacturers that make switch gear needed that done first. SCL were pretty much the only company that were capable and willing to do it. CUC actually sent us um, some of their spare equipment that they had and we were able to set up a, a lab condition to simulate the entire substation using the Axion and SEL relays to completely replace their GIS controllers. We were able to replicate and even improve some of the functions of the previous controller and then we spent probably four or five months putting the system through all the paces to make sure that one, it would operate like we expected, but two, it also would stand up to repeated use over the years. Before I was looking at the products on the market, I really hadn't seen a quantum leap in technology uh, in the last 20 years or so. When we looked at the Schweitzer Axiom platform, you know, the angels were singing, we'd reached the end of the rainbow, here we are and something that can actually provide us with the next stage in substation automation. SEL made a proposal to come in and do a custom solution based on the existing hardware, the existing input and output points on the hardware and essentially perform brain surgery on, on our substation um, while it was still operating. So these are actually the previous drive units that Schweitzer retrofitted the terminals to in order that we could directly uh, interface with the DC stepper motors on here. We could interface with the contacts. We could also get the gas pressure measurements for the chambers. So really, Schweitzer ended up being able to take what was a remote I.O. application, a specialist remote I.O. application, and bring all of that native I.O. into the cabinets. And they were able to give us a turnkey solution. But we don't usually see that uh, in the market, you know. Uh, a lot of people wish to give us cookie cutter, uh, off the shelf solutions, but what we really have here is state of the art, control gear that's actually been developed for a specific application from the ground up and has been then tested, commissioned and handed over as a turnkey solution. So we're CUC are incredibly happy with this.